Hello all and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll discuss about types of lines in engineering drawing. So engineering drawing is a language which is used to convey messages between engineers using some figures. That means you will be drawing the figures using lines. So as languages, we know English language has some alphabets. So you will be expressing your messages using a group of words, group of letters. And the same case in engineering drawing, you will be conveying the messages in the form of figures or drawings. So there should be some alphabets. So here, similar to alphabets, we have lines. Each type of lines represents particular features. We should have a thorough understanding about different types of lines used in engineering drawing. So these are the most commonly used types of lines. And you can see three columns are there. In the first column, what is the type of line? Second one, its description. And third one, where it is used. I will tell about thick line and thin line. In engineering drawing, there are situations where you should use thick line. And there are some other situations where you, you should use thin line. And by looking at your drawing, one person should be able to differentiate between this thick line and thin line. Thick line doesn't mean that you need to draw again and again. Only one stroke is allowed. Within that one stroke, you should be able to draw a thick line and a thin line. One easy method you can adopt is for thick line, you use HB pencil. For thick line, you use HB pencil. And for thin line, you use H or 2H. 2H will give more thin line. Okay. For thick line, you go for HP pencil. And for thin line, you go for H or 2H. So, if you go to a shop, you can see a wide variety of pencils available. Like HB, B, 2B, 3B, 4B, up to 7B. And again, H, 2H, 3H. Like that. Now, we will take the first case. Line A. Capital A. So line A, that is of type A. It is, you can see, continuous thick line. Continuous thick line. This is thick line. Continuous thick line. And it is used to represent visible outlines and visible edges. So when you take a cube or a pyramid, you will be having a visible edge and hidden edge. So if you are looking from front, so the features on the back side will be hidden. So whatever you are visible those things should be uh, represented using continuous thick line so visible outlines and visible edges second is line b type b line it is continuous thin line so you can differentiate the difference between these two this is thick line this is thin line continuous thin line now what are the uses of this one it is used to represent imaginary lines of intersection which is not in the answer Okay, so for example, you, you are having a taper, you are having a taper like this. Now you need you need to find the intersecting point. And it's a different color. This is the intersecting point. This black color should be in thin line because that is not the part of the answer. This red may be thick line, and this one is a is thin line. Now dimension lines. So the lines used to, to represent dimensions, then projection lines. Leader lines, all these things are belongs to dimension lines. We will discuss when we reach the dimension part. Hatching lines, like this one. Okay, so you want to hatch this area, you should hatch like this. So, that one. Outlines of revolved sections in plane, then short central lines, all these things are represented using continuous thin line. Now, C, type C line, third one, continuous thin freehand line limits of partial or interrupted views and sections if the limit is not a chain it gives an interrupted view like this one okay you have this one you can use interrupted view you can use this one this continuous thin freehand line now continuous thin zigzag with zigzag long break line so that means you see you are having a hundred meter line hundred meter line okay, you can represent there is, there is no change in that one, you can represent it like this. Okay. You can provide the zigzag line and draw this. Draw the same 100 mm in a short, shorter span. 
so it is used to represent long break line then dashed thick line it is used to represent hidden outlines and hidden edges so there are visible edges and hidden edges so if hidden edges come this dashed thick line will be used and in some other cases dashed thin line is also used for the same thing okay so the hidden outlines and hidden edges now the chain line chain thin line so it is used to represent the center lines or axis lines of symmetry and trajectories so a, for, a, for example if you take a solid a solid will have a an imaginary axis so that imaginary axis is represented by thin chain like that means a long line short line long line short line long line short line like that that is type g and next one is type h type h is chain thin thick at the ends and changes of direction so you can see here this is a chain line it's a chain line the chain line and it changes the direction plus its ends are thick so it is going to represent cutting planes so it is used to represent cutting planes or section planes chain thick line indication of line or surfaces to which a special requirement is applied so you have a surface like this you want to specify that in this surface you want to do some more uh, finishing operation so we can represent this part by this part by thick continuous thick chain line and last one continuous thin double dashed so you have you can see here two double dash two double dash its application is outlines of adjacent parts extreme position of movable parts extreme position means if you take a piston there will be some extreme positions where it can go centroidal lines then initial outlines prior to forming and parts situated in front of the cutting plane all these things are represented using type k lines so in our engineering graphics mostly used lines are this one continuous thick line continuous thin line dashed thick and dashed thin line then chain thin line and this one cutting planes these are frequently used in our drawings so this is about types of lines used in engineering drawing so this is just an introduction when we do the actual drawing i will show you the application of each of these lines if you have any comments or suggestions please write in the comment section we will meet you in another video thanks for watching bye